Feels like my nappies. Feels like my nappies leaking. We're driving on the M6 northbound. Just come out to Charnock Richard Services. Mr. Park had an issue with his ABS system, and I had a system problem with my camera. But we're all rectified now, and away we go. So next stop, Bonnie Scotland. You take the high road, and I'll take the low road, and I'll get to Scotland before yet. Yeah. There we go. You made the weekend. Currently, I am uh, on our way to Kilmarnock. How far is Kilmarnock from here now? About 30 miles before Kilmarnock. Finbonnet, Scotland. Friday the 28th of uh, August. And we've still got a thousand miles to go <laughs> may as well be a thousand we've got about still got about 300 miles to go and it's looking a bit murky it's looking shitty over there but we're going that way it looks a bit brighter so you never quite know what you're going to get Scotland's like a box of chocolates What's my destiny, Mama? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're still on our way to Kilmarnock, but as you can see, the sun is coming out. The rain has stopped, and the blue skies are ahead of us, and the hills of the Highlands of Scotland. Quite pleasurable. Quite pleasurable. Very weird. Say that word into your into your thing, yo. Well, I just said that. Pleasurable. Quite. Where does your Tado say something to you? Mine says something about Google. <laughs> I don't know what. Yeah. What was that? What did it say? <laughs> that was quite pleasurable. Quite pleasurable. Right in the corner there. Okay, love. It's day one of our little Scotland trip. As you can see, the bikes are very dirty. It's about quarter nine in the morning. We've done 250 miles, so we've got about 200 miles to go. And we're all in good spirits still. Because around that roundabout there, and then that way. Roundabout, and then. Ready, love? Oh, well, let's go. This is San Qua. I think it's called. What's it called, this place, Colin? San Qua. Fucking hell. That is bad, that. Oh, fucking hell. Easy surface, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
probably just been done by uh, Darlington's. Malcolm. <coughs> we are now on the shores of Loch Lomond. Just got a cup of coffee and biscuits. Here's the bikes all minging and rotten. Here's Cather, Colin. Looks more gay every time we see him. And there is Loch Lomond. Beautiful, gorgeous, picturesque. Smart. Drum. This is where we stayed last year. In that hotel there. The Muffet Royal Hotel. Yes. And just up here on the right is the famous Green Welly Cafe. Yeah? Famous. There's a green welly. Glen Cole Mountain Museum. We're at Glen Cole and we're at a um, bit of a traffic jam on Glen Cole. It's like they're doing a bit of roadworks. I can't think of much better places to be caught in a little bit of a traffic jam. Very nice, very nice. Fucking hell, look at the size of that. It's like a land yacht. Oh. Oof. Oh, stand up. Oh. Oh, a little tunnel there, a little bridge. You sit under that in a storm, couldn't you? It's a boss little house. I bet that floods every year there. And that little fucking lake fills right up. Oh, that's smart that, isn't it? These are all fell walkers. Walkers up the fell. Hit the bridge. Over the bridge and far away. I can live in down there. Cue with that be. Where your mass lad? This is Fort William. Stop it. Stop it, Fort William, just to get a butty and a coffee. That's what Colin can, can brag about the size of his penis that he hasn't got. It's the Commando Monument. Another one here, Colin. Fort Augustus. And we had to wait and we just was on the other side there, remember? Yeah. Yes, it was absolutely stentially raining. 6.3 miles, turn right. There's Loch Ness. Started pissing down again. But, still loving 
every mile smile. Just come through Loch Ness. I'm now on the, still on the A82, heading towards Inverness, I've got 39 miles to go, Collinsport, uh, gone left, where I went right, he's staying in a different place for me tonight, so he's gone, the carrot onto their digs, and I'm just heading to my digs, 39 miles to go, Done a total of have a look up to now 381 miles. Here we are outside my little pod, down the glamping site. There's a river there, whatever there, or an estuary. Here got a pod, nice and cozy, heat is on, on sweet. Look up here, where the bike is. There's me a lot of beauty. Match up, chained up, done 440 miles today, which is really good. Just gonna put the lock on. All locks up, two disc locks on, chains up. That's the house. Oh, it's just dead nice here. Really nice. I'm going to order a Chinese sweet tea because apparently they deliver here, which is good because I'm starving. Been out since quarter past three this morning. I left me out. No, I didn't. Get a day quarter past three this morning. These are called. Um, Whiskey barrels, whiskey barrel pot. But as you can see, it's dead nice. Loads of things for kids to do. Must be ship bills over there because that's uh, their um, gas rigs or oil rigs. Family out orientated, is it? Very nice, very nice. Just left Delny Glamping. Go to these coast to stop. I'm on the A9 now. Heading over to the lake to meet up with Colin and Karen. It's uh, Saturday morning, 29th of August. Another Belton view. As you can see this morning, the traffic's terrible up here in Scotland. In the middle. Scotland to myself. We're in a place now, I'm going to ride to a place now called, as you can see, Bonner Bridge. Is it always Bonner Bridge or Bonner Bridge? Whatever. It's not really much of it. It's still a bridge and it's still boss. Left here to Lurg on the A836. Well, bang on cue, five miles to go, and the heavens have opened. Welcome to Leg.
But you've been here before. Right, I'm here up at Leg. Just come to meet Colin and Karen from where I was staying last night, which is about 30 miles away, just north of Inverness. The postcode's brought me up here, but it's wrong. I've just phoned Colin and he said, don't follow the postcode, it's wrong. But anyway, he's only down the bottom of the hill. But there's the, uh, I think that's Loch Shin. It's a dead nice place here. We've been here before. Just been passed in, done a bit of video on with me, helmet camera. And those of you who've been with us before will know. Now I'm just going to do a little um, review here on something that I bought last week. My new bike has got no hard panniers on it. And my RT that I got rid of did. So we booked Scotland and I thought, yeah, I got my RT. It's got the top box and the panniers. But, then I decided to buy this, which has got no hard panniers or top box. So, I looked online and I looked at some reviews for this, the SW Motec 700 dry bag. Fits on dead easy in seconds, got plenty of room in. And believe it or not, when you're riding on it, on your bike, and that's behind you, it's really comfortable. Because you can sort of sit back and lean against it. But, I think it was £120 from a well-known trading company, name of a river. Um, yeah, and it, it's brilliant. It's really, really good. I'm well impressed. All my stuff was bone dry, as it should be, because it's a dry bag. But it was brilliant. It was really good. It's really good. So if you're looking for something, something uh, to replace maybe panniers or if you've got a bike with no panniers, you don't want to spend 1400 or 1500 pounds as the panniers were for that, um, get yourself one of them because they're really good, highly recommended and I bought it with my own money. So there you go. This is the room of this suite. Couch, chair, breather, TV, chair. bathroom, window, chair. Just ridden through the leg, and we're on our way to. <coughs> where I'm staying the next three nights which is Loch Shin Luxury Pods which is just up the road got to look out for a big chicken I've just passed a big chicken on the left there they are, there's the pods there
And there's the big chicken. Yeah. Right, you're on the back on the gravel. Stay in the left or the right column. It's a bit harder. And here they are. What a spectacular view. Imagine this in the summer. Welcome to my crib. Very humble abode. It's loud, isn't it? Hi. Oh, Charlie. Toilet. What's on there? It's yours, isn't it? Tell me, Bob. Sixty quid for three nights. No, you can't, man. That's that kind of Well, you've got to pay thirty quid for the towels and the bedding. Oh. Glen Cottage, oh, look at that, Doug. That is definitely out of uh, dog soldiers. We're here, we're here. We have arrived at the Falls of Sheen. Is that going off? Yeah. They say Didn't goodbye. Say goodbye. Right, see there. Oh. Right, yeah. Speak. Yeah, I can hear you now. Yeah, I can hear you. What's this called, Colin? Sheen Falls? On our way to Elton now, Colin's in front. I've got a clue where he's going, but anyway, I may be having to tell him where he's going, but, so that's good. But we're in the Highlands now, as you can see, riding through the forest trees. It's just a single track road, there's just passing places. You get a lot of them up here in Scotland. The, the, view, the views, the scenery. Fantastic again. Pike's going like her little beauty. Galloping Gertie. I don't know where we are here, <coughs> but it's just breathtaking. Pardon me, that was me farting. There's the bikes. There we are. Look at this country here. I don't know, what a fucking idiot. What a fucking idiot. Yes, now just stopped for a beautiful Highland Haggis Burger and it was scrumptious. It seems to be a very popular little spot. There's Kata, just got a hot chocolate. It's Colin picking Heather. And there's my beautiful bike. Just picked. From that bunch on the other side of the road there, right at the very top of Scotland. You gonna pick some for your mum? Yeah. Carol's at the 
Vamos a ir para allá. Here we go. So now you know where it came from. It came from right there. Right there. That looks that just looks like a like Ansel and Gretel house that. A little chocolate box on its own in the middle of nowhere. Oh you get to it though. You're gonna get your feet wet getting to it. Cool though, wouldn't it? Just when you think it couldn't get any better, you've got that view. Shell Skelpish. Just going into Johnny Groves now. Last little leg. I say I'll have to ride because today we've still got to ride back to the leg. Which is, I don't know, about maybe 80 miles. This is what we've got rolls up here for. This is Johnny Cross. This is our last turn. Here it is. Last turn into Johnny Cross. Last time you came, it was deserted, wasn't it? No, you can't get your bike up there, mate, it's rammed. I've come in the wrong way here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the top car park, don't we get in the bottom? Do it last time, but I drove over that. I drove over the, uh, over the curb there. To get your bike up there. Yeah, it's around about this, mate. You can't just walk across the road. You just go in here. Go. Jump off, love. Side boxing club. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you went Clark's here, yeah, see what we got a ballad. Oh no, that's the queue. To get, that's the queue to take your forty. John O'Groats. It's an uh, anti-climax, isn't it? <laughs> it's an anti-climax. Excited, love? Okay. 
Fifth and last in Scotland, Johnny Grubbs. Crafts and gifts. Let's go and get my little grandson something from here. There's a little fishing boat. Today I'm riding solo. Colin and Karen went home this morning. So we had a meal last night, said to her, and now today I'm on my own, so I'm gonna have a little ride out over to Apple Cross, to the Apple Cross Inn and have me lunch. <coughs> and of course, if you do Apple Cross, you've got to do the Balach Nabar. So it should be a good one. See you later. This is the Balachnabar, supposedly the most treacherous road in Great Britain. A few little switchbacks before you get onto that, which as you can see is just breathtaking. Just need some apple for dinner. It's absolutely 